Hello UiPath experts, welcome to the UiPath.learner channel. Thank you very much for subscribe. Let us look the next part of the UiPath data services. The data service in your UiPath cloud. So where you can store the data without any database. Let us see. So what we can do today. So we will just connect the uh, UiPath app and data service. Okay. So for that, so what we can do, we can just choose one topic. Okay. One topic in the sense one entity. Let us uh, so take an entity. If you, if you just know any entities, the best entity is just keep posting in the comments. So I will do the video in the next. Uh, uh, okay. So next next video. So. Let us take an entity which, which which entity we can take. So we can just simply take a like a tag take one entity. Generally a school and employee apart from that Okay, voter or not, or just see voter uh, details. Okay, so the person and voter. Okay, voter data. Okay, voter data. So voter name, the person name, and uh, what is the next? So whether he is a voter or not, and uh, we can mention the age also. Okay, age, age. Up, otherwise, uh, <coughs> yeah, person and voter. Simply, so a, a new text box. There is a voter, you know, the voter name, and uh, the name of the person, and whether it is a voter or not. That's it. Okay. Just check that voter or not. That's it. Okay. Let's create a one new field like a name, uh, person name. The person name is a text box. Voter or not. That is a yes or no. That's it. Very simple two fields: person name and voter. Okay, so the two fields. So let's go to the data. Currently, we don't have a data. So what we can do? Just create a new process to just add the new values to the uh, a data service. Okay, so voter data uh, service. Voter data service. Okay, so what we can do in this voter data service? So in this voter data service, what we can do? So we'll just simply create a, a two input parameters like a uh, the voter name the person name and the a voter okay these these are all the two input arguments these two input arguments the first one is a a person name is a string and input direction and the voter is voter is voter is a also a input direction and that is a boolean value okay so what the this process what we, cre we are creating this process what it will do <coughs> it will add the new record to the data service so let us see that thing okay so let us create a two in arguments like a in underscore person name and uh, the next thing is like a in underscore voter uh, is voter okay is voter this is the input direction and this is a boolean value s or no okay so what we can do here so first of all the first thing is a manage entities and select the Voter data. So click on the refresh. You will find the newly created voter data. Let's uncheck if you don't want those things. Voter data. Just click on the save. The, once you create a, a new entity into the orchestrator uh, data service page, so that particular entity, all the entities from that orchestrator tenant will connect here and it will show all the entities here. What are the entities you want to work with this project? Those entities you have to select in this manage entities wizard and click on the save. So those entities you can access from the, uh, the, the, from the orchestrator. Let us see. So the first step is adding the entities to this one. So once you add directly it is showing, so install the package. So to interact with the data services, you have to install the package like a uipath.dataservice.activities. Okay, so first of all, the, the two things. One, one thing is a manage entities wizard. Select the entity which you want to use in this project. That is the first step. The second step is the install the package 
called uipath.dataservice.activities to utilize the activities so to interact with the uh, data service module okay so let us create a a, a, a new uh, thing like a so uh, just add the new data to the particular particular uh, entity so currently we do not have a, a data in the voter data uh, list let us go here and create a one sequence simple thing uh, one thing is here you can go directly to the project and uh, expand the water entity here water data is there right just drag that water data here okay once you drag this one it will show all the corresponding activities which you can do using the that particular data entity entity right create a entity entity record okay create a entity record just using that create a entity record so before that so the thing is here see here automatically it is selected that voter object entity type so normally if you just drag simply and create entity record from the activities panel you have to choose from the browse type right otherwise so directly as you drag the same type voter data 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 entity are automatically selected that is the, that is the beauty of this uh, dragging the entities from the project panel okay now let us create a one small object so create a object like a uh, obj voter so that is a type what type so automatically you can see here the voter data so voter data is a type and here just initialize that one first of all any object entity you have to initialize that one with the new keyword the new keyword is like a object voter equal to a new you see new object voter okay uh, what what is that voter data voter data that's it okay no need to give the anything okay so after that you can just simply uh, use the these things two two more times i i just pasted to just initialize the values dot you just press the object dot the all the values the person name and these things and all came to here right so what we have to assign for but the person name is like a this person name is coming from the outside so in underscore person name okay so take the object dot what is that voter voter this is a boolean value so this for this also we have a in underscore is voter right that is coming from the outside in underscore is is in underscore is water okay so now we just initialize this one initialize this is the initialization uh, initialize something like that uh, so here you just assign the person name assign the voter so the, the next thing is create a, use the same objects object voter and use the object voter here okay so why we need the output also so we need the output to get the what is the id and what is these things and all right so once you create a a new entity into the orchestrator by default the five variables it's uh, five fields automatically created that right? id created by created time updated date updated by these things and all right so to get those details so you can get the output as the same object okay now let us save so what it is saying so there is a, some errors it is saying so let us create a here also input obj ob variable and output also obj obj so it's not synced yeah that's it okay once that is done let's use the dummy values okay dummy values in the sense let me give me one second a dummy values like a so we can just simply give the uh, let us stop this one and give that some dummy values okay Srinivas, voter or not, true, okay, let us try to run this one, so with the dummy values for the arguments, okay, so once we run this workflow, uh, what it will do, it will create a new entry into the uh, data, so let us go to the data service in the orchestrator, and go to the data tab, so you can see, uh, if you are not see anything just click on the refresh so it will give the one new added see Srinivas and yes right so now what is the next step is so create a <coughs> create a app okay go to the apps 
UiPath apps. Okay, so what we can do, we can connect the app and process the the process which we just created and the data service. So we're not storing anywhere the data is like we're not storing in the Excel, we're not storing in the database. Okay, we are storing in the data service. Let us create a new uh, a, a new app like a so water app water app okay in this water app we will create a, a two new uh, inputs like a so let us create a two inputs like a so first of all we will just create a some small um, basically the small header let's create the header something like that display header this drag and drop the header and this is a, like a water input something like that so you can just simply give the the styles like a water uh, which which one is a style I'm just putting the style is a higher middle lessons and all after that so just add the a new so if you want to add the container just add the container just drag the container this container you have to specify the horizontal or vertical I'm just putting the horizontal horizontal and here just add the a new record like a a label okay so just drag the label here then put the styles like a so what is that uh, uh, three and here the label is like a person name okay person name and this person name uh, yeah let's add the one more uh, field called a text box that is a input uh, so just drag the text box here and this is like a uh, what is that uh, the bind you have to bind this one okay so let us bind it later okay so just add the one more container to get the so yeah container make it a horizontal and I insert the label like a uh, make it the like this and the third level this is like a so water or water water is water okay is water and then so you can just drag simply a, a switch okay so this is a switch is there okay switch so this switch you can just simply give the uh, without anything uh, label and this switch is like a just uh, simply add like this okay this switch switch is there okay next one is uh, like a, a basically a, a button so once it is uh, done so you can just simply create a click on that button so that is a solid uh, mm, solid yeah uh, red this one general submit okay submit water data so what we created the a simple form let's let's create a preview click on the preview click on the do, 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 what happened click on the pre or click on the preview okay so what is the next step we have to do so we created a separately a app UiPath app and separately a data we created the one new data a service ent entity right do new data service entity and what is the next one next one is we just uh, we, we just created a, a, a process so we have to connect those things and all okay let us see this is, looks like this one so let us go and uh, publish this process First, we have to publish this process okay publish this process and uh, let us see the next step next step is a uh, go to the packages you have to create a process for this package which you are just dis deploying right so here we created the one package like a water data service let us see whether it is available in the orchestrator in the orchestrator you can see just simply go to the process and create a process for this particular package so let's go to the process process list in the left hand side you can just simply click on the plus button and uh, create select the package like a water water so water service and select the environment click on the create perfect so we created the one process let us go to the our process here uh, app UiPath app click on the process create a process and uh, select the next and you can see the just now we created the process like right this water water service click on the select okay so this has the two input parameters so click on the parameters this is all the two parameters are there so what we have to do we have to just go to the 
a button I select the button right you can select the button from here also and go to the events click create a rule okay create a rule so in the create rule select the start process select that process which you want to select this one okay and one more thing so what we have to do so you can if you want to just simply uh, show the a, a loading pop-up like a so a spinner a spinner so you can just simply <coughs> creating water uh, uh, water okay creating a water new water okay new water okay so once it is a done so i'm just putting this as a unattended and once it is a done completed just simply spinner and uh, they just hide the spinner that, that that's it okay so one, <coughs> one more thing what we have to do select this one and bind the data so you have to bind the data right so just bind the a voter name the person name goes to the in person name and this spinner uh, this this is also a bind the data uh, this voter is, goes to the voter okay that's it so our process is ready and now you can see how many records are there only Srinivasan record is there okay let's go to the process our app and uh, create a new <coughs> Vankatesh is uh, is a voter and click on the submit okay see if this spinner is coming so creating a new voter spinner is coming and it will just call the process and the UiPath assistant uh, you can see the here a uh, UiPath assistant this voter data service process is uh, running now this voter data service process is running now and uh, it will insert the data into the data service so basically what we are doing so we created the entity in the data service created the app created the process package and we connected these three together to build a, a new process. Let us go to the data service and click on the refresh. See, Vinkatesh, uh, this record came. Okay. This is a, a new app we created like a <coughs> Ramakrishna. Okay. So, this is how we can connect the UiPath apps and the uh, uh, data services. Okay, so let us see. Uh, look at the next videos. Okay, so we'll just uh, explore more about this uh, data service and uh, the remaining things. Okay, thank you very much. Let us see. So whether this uh, Ramakrishna uh, a new record is added into the data service or not. Okay, it's added. See here, Ramakrishna is added. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.